Hi guys, this is Mtech Configuration Store Blocksu.com and today we have the STC Butterfly with us which is a hot kick in the market now. So we're going to take a review of this device. Uh, we will be discussing about all the aspects of uh, HTC Butterfly. So let's start with the design of the device. Uh, and I must say the device HTC has really done in really well in this device. The, the design is very much premium and it looks pretty nice in, and it really feels good in holding in hand. So uh, this device is excellently done by the HTC. As you can see, the front panel has a 5-inch display uh, with three capacity buttons down here. And you can see uh, on the top side there is a camera which is placed on the right uh, left side of the device. Then we have the uh, and then we have the STC logo here, and we have the speaker grill on the top side here. And uh, it's really a, a red lining is given on the speaker grill, which looks pretty much attractive and very aggressive. So the design of the STC butterfly is pretty well done by STC. And uh, on the top side they have also provided a notification light on the on here. I don't know whether you have you are able to see it or not and you can see the proximity sensor on the top side also so uh, that's about the front panel on discussing about the side you can see there is a volume rocker which is placed very ergonomically and uh, the device is very much thin it's about 9.1 mm so uh, we could really uh, reach up there there is no problem with that the, the the key placement is very excellent by the stc and uh, the, there is a side grill on the on the side of the device it's actually not a speaker it's just to enhance the beauty of the device it's just nothing uh, there in, in that side also except the volume rocker so on the, on the top side you can see 3.5 mm audio jack here uh, with the lock screen lock unlock key and also the memory card slot here on the top side on the bottom you can see a uh, sim slot here and with the microphone uh, uh, microphone uh, placed on the bottom side you can see the voice cancellation microphone on the top side of the device so and on the left side uh, you can see the the speaker grill. there is nothing except uh, there is nothing on the left side it's a uh, it's just a design enhancement there's nothing on that side also so on the back panel you can see the the beat audio logo uh, with the speaker is on the back side with the attractive stc design stc logo here 8 megapixel primary camera on 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 the on, on that side with the led flash and also a notification light is provided on the back panel I don't know if whether you, have, you can see it or not, but there is a notification light on the back, back side of the device. So uh, that's all about the physical appearance of the device and let's turn on the device and see how fast the booting of the device takes place. So this, this, this device has a super LCD 3 display with a resolution of 180 into 1920 and uh, with a ppi of 441 ppi so that really shows up on the display itself it's very very vivid it's very sharp and uh, it's really nicely done by but by, by the stz and uh, let's quickly go into the interface of this device and see what are the customization in the interface the most important factor about the stz butterfly is that it has a blink feed uh, which is uh, very unique for the 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 ui of this device that is the HTC Sense 5, uh, which is the greatest marketing point for the HTC Butterfly. So let's quickly see what is the Blink Feed. And uh, as you can see, the Blink Feed is uh, just a, a page when you slide to the leftmost side of the device. You can see a page where you can really scroll down and uh, you get the updates of your favorite channels or whatever you want to. And you can take it off and you can place it down there and you will get the updates, regular updates of all the things that you need. So. Uh, that really improves uh, that really is helpful, helpful for those who are really spending a lot more time in the internet so and you want to get updated on the news or anything like that you can just put them on this and uh, you will get regular updates you won't miss any events happening around you so that's that's really great feature done by the stc and uh, i'm going to show you that how how to set that uh, okay, if you want to set anything uh, any any add any topics to billing feed you can just go into this menu and you can get it uh, without any problem you can uh, you, they are they are already provided almost all the channels uh, that is and you can uh, add an TV or autocar Bollywood hunkama all, all these are available here so there is no problem with adding anything it's very simple and everything about this device is very very accurate and very simple so there is no need of any complexity the device is pretty much user, user friendly the interface is very much user friendly so there's no problem with that and uh, now let's quickly go into the gallery and take a picture and let's quickly see uh, what is the, uh, the 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 image quality of the device and let's quickly see that the gallery and 
this is actually the gallery of ice and let's quickly zoom uh, a, so let's quickly get a picture now so uh, these are actually the pictures taken from this device and let's quickly go and zoom it out so as you can see the device uh, is pretty well the, ca the camera of the device is ex exceptional 8 megapixel camera is very very good and you can see the the the, the, the pictures are pretty sharp and uh, very much vivid so and the zooming is also very much smooth it has a the device has a the chipset of qualcomm apq8064 snapdragon and the processor is a 1.5 gigahertz great processor it's a quad core processor so the processing power of the device is unlimited so you can really uh, you can really do whatever you want in this device it's very very smooth it has a 2 gb of ram so you won't get short of anything uh, in this device it's very much enriched with technology so there's no problem in this device uh, with the picture viewing or you can see the, the 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 images are very much vivid and there is no problem with that so as you can see the images are pretty much sharp and vivid it has a 44d1 ppi display uh, which is very much excellent and uh, very bright and you can really uh, increase the, the user experience of with this device you can see the am the angles the viewing angles are also exceptional so uh, there is no problem with that also so the, the the display of the device is very exceptional and i don't have anything to complain about the display of stz butterfly so let's quickly go into some videos and uh, play some video songs and let's quickly see uh, the 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 play the video playback of this device i'm going to play a 180p uh, 70p video so as you can see uh, the streaming of the device is is extremely fast there is no lag or delay in streaming it's very very smooth uh, and uh, uh, that that's pretty evident from the hardware itself there is nothing to stop it it is very smooth it's silky smooth i can say though so there is no problem with the video playback in 720p let's quickly go into the 180p video this is this is actually 180p video and uh, you can see the, the 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 video playback is instant there is no lag in the video playback it's very 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 continuous and smooth so uh, that shows uh, the device is very powerful and there is no uh, you don't have any you don't have to worry about anything the processing power or anything of this device is very excellent so let's quickly go into the interface customizations done by the by the stc as you can see the interface is very much different from the usual android phones when you click on the app you, you get a very different interface uh, with the clock on the top and you can you get the temperature uh, of your weather reports here you can get it whenever you want you have the gallery on the side when you, you have to slide down to get the menus and don't have any option to rearrange it or you don't have to you don't you can really format it it's by the default this is in this way you can't uh, change it to slide to sites you can you have to drop down you have to slide down to get your apps so uh, that's 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 the that's uh, with the customization done by the HTC and um, that's really really good feature that uh, it's very easy to operate also so if you want to add anything to the home page you have to click down and you just have you can just go to the you can just go to the shortcuts and you can just place it whatever you want so uh, it will be placed so it's very simply done by STC that's really nice to see so uh, the 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 dialer also is a little bit customized by the STC it's very very simple you can get the favorite contacts by sliding to the next and you can uh, dial the contacts whatever you want so um, the the customizations are really nice in this device the, the 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 you can't find anything similar to android ui other devices in other other android ui in the other devices it's very much unique in this device so let's quickly go into the media player of the device let's quickly see what other customizations done on the player itself and let's start the music player you can see the, there's a lot more customized the media player is also very much customized this is not what you get in the android a uh, natural android ui so it's very much very much cu customized and you can see you can play it and and the sound is very much loud and the speaker of the device is uh, very nice and it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't uh, amplify any noise it's very pure music and you can really skip through different players, different channels. You can just go through that. You can get the different music instantly. So there is no lag in any functions that you do with this device. It's very powerful, and it's really nicely done by the STC. So that's all about the music playback of the device. 
and you can you can really uh, see that it's very very smooth and very very convenient for usage and also you can uh, tap on this button here on the top uh, on the bottom side and you get all the minimized app instantly so you can just close it by doing this and you can just close it up so it's very very smooth there is no lag or any any problem with that so so let's go into the camera and see the camera interface of this device this is actually the camera interface of the device and you can turn on or turn off the flash by just quickly tapping on this device and this thing this is actually I have set it to auto you can vary it or whatever you want and you have the settings here and you have a lot of options you can just change the camera uh, to the front by just clicking on that menu so that's also pretty fast you can do it uh, with uh, within a second so it's no problem with that the only thing I found is that they haven't provided a shortcut here to actually jump to the front camera or back camera to clean the camera so uh, that's that's the only thing that I found bad but all the ex other features are really excellent the, the device is equipped with HDR which will improve the image quality when you take the device and you take the picture in the backlit condition they have a self timer also the resolution can be a maximum of uh, 3264 into 1840 which is very much high compared to any other devices and uh, you have video quality settings up to 12920 into 1080 is the maximum video resolution that you get uh, with this device and uh, the white balance uh, all, all are really adjustable less just like a professional camera this device has all these things equipped and you can really adjust to whatever you want and you have also just shutter, shutter options here so uh, the, the camera interface is also very much nice and I have already seen the, the pictures taken from the camera and, uh, and the device has uh, the panorama view which is uh, which has a dual panorama view. you can just capture in two directions you can either go to the right or you can then then you can capture in the right panorama or if you want to do it in the left side you have the, all the, that option also so there is no problem with that and the device is also equipped with uh, the the smile and face detection is also there so there is uh, no problem to say about the camera of the device it is very much nice for this device it's very nice and professional so let's quickly take a picture of uh, this thing and let's quickly take so let's quickly take a picture of this thing so I'm going to take it off picture so this is actually what we get from the as you can see the the image is very much sharp uh, so I, I don't expect I didn't expect this much clarity for this picture but it's really really uh, I must say this very much good in the camera of the device is very excellent I must say that really really nicely done by Dice TC so uh, so that's all about the camera of the device so let's quickly go into the benchmarking another important feature of this, this review is the benchmarking so let's quickly go into the benchmarking of the device and uh, see uh, how the device will perform in the, with the benchmarks so let's start with the Mark 2 which is the graphics benchmark So we are getting about 59.2 uh, which is actually a great score for any device so that shows the device can handle anything up to 180p videos or if you want to play high-end games uh, this is the great device for that so there is no problem with that uh, and also the display quality of the device is also exceptional so that that also improve the the the, use, the experience with the game or 180p playback that will also improve very quickly so let's quickly go into the Antutu 2 benchmark and let's run it out and see how the device scores so I have already run the Antutu benchmark so I'm just gonna I'm gonna see the scores so this is actually the scores of Antutu scores uh, the total score is 116950 and the CPU score is about 5731 and uh, the GPU score is 6512 the RAM is 2815 the input output is 892 so uh, altogether the benchmark scores are very excellent uh, there is no issues uh, with any, any any there is no problem with the device it's very very good scores and let's click go run the quadrant benchmark and let's please see the system information of this device let's quickly see the system information so as you can see uh, the device has a ARM V7 processor uh, the, uh, the frequency is 1.5 gigahertz the number of course are 4 and uh, you have the memory uh, is about uh, 2 GB as you know and the resolution is 180 into 1776 OpenGL 
uh, it's called, it's called comb processor as you can see and so sensors so there are a couple of sensors rotation sensor leader acceleration gravity gyro axle magnetic field orientation sensor proximity sensor light sensor so all the sensors are there in this device so there's no problem with that also so realistically run the benchmark So we get the score of 5124 is the score we get from the quadrant benchmarking. So let's quickly go out and uh, see other features, other customizations done by the STC. So as you can see in the drop down menu you get, the, get the, all the updates uh, from, the, from the favorites you want and uh, even from the blink feed you can get the update from there. And uh, there is an icon here, then you click on that you will get all the shortcuts for uh, the, the the shortcuts in this device, Bright, you can increase brightness settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane, power saver mode is also available uh, at the shortcut mode. So that's really convenient for those who uh, really want to quick access to get into the power saver mode and they can really optimize the power of the device and extend the battery life. So that's also ex an excellent feature in the in the in in this device. There's also another interesting feature available in the STZ, uh, it is that uh, we can quick, quick restart the device, quick reboot the device by just holding the power button. If you hold that power button down for four to three seconds, go into the quick reboot mode and it will start within uh, two, three seconds, the device will be rebooted. So, so you can see. The device has uh, booted up so that's that's very much fast uh, compared to any other devices so the device is completely ready for an action so that's also another interesting feature about this device so basically uh, let's take a look at the at the functionality that is the voice command functionality of this device so that's if you hold the home button down you get an option to voice search about anything so if I'm, I'm going to show you that what is the temperature in Trandrum? So as you can see, it has very much accurately. Uh, it's noticed. 31 degrees in Thiruvananthapuram right now. So that's that's it. So you can see it's very accurate, and the STC had really done it really well. So uh, I, I just want to say about one thing is that this device is excellent, and you can really go for this device. It has a good good build quality, it has good display, it has a, it has good processor, it has good RAM. It has a 2 megapixel front camera which is recording your, it is able to record 180p and the back camera, the primary camera is, uh, it's able to record in 180p also. So the front and back are able to record uh, videos at full 180p. So that's really interesting thing about this device and the design is very much excellent for this device. So overall the device is excellent and I feel this device is wealth for this money and I really like this device performance. So. Uh, that's all for about the STC butterfly. This is K signing off from theconfiguration.boxer.com. And if you like this video, please hit like and share with your friends and stay subscribed. Thank you.